Uh, just another day in my glorified gaming setup. What do I want to work on? Oh, hey, I have Discord open. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the hell? Fuck out of here. I'm looking at the computer. Ooh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check it out. Oh, look at that bad bitch. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I, I I literally cannot do that. I don't know how some of those people do it on YouTube. You know who I'm talking about. Like those news guys or whatever. Anyhow, uh, this video is a bit different. It's something I do not do. You know, clearly I'm a gaming person, but here I am building a PC and making a video about it. So I built my first ITX PC and specifically meant for 4K. And I chose a bit of a strange parts, of course. But with good reason, of course. The intent of this PC is for couch gaming, and with friends and emulation. And of course some 4K solo gaming, you know, you know we like to keep it classy. This will be a two-parter, and this video will be discussing the whys, the whats, and the hows for building the PC. So why don't we begin? Now these types of videos are not my go-to videos. Literally I play games and upload clips I thoroughly enjoyed. Does that sound familiar? It's like what every young boy does, except the YouTuber part. The parts I went for is the ROG Strix B660i, Arctic Esports 34 cooler, Corsair Vengeance DDR5 RAM 64GB, 5200 Mega Transfers, the Intel Arc A770, i5-13400F, and it's not on the screen yet, but the Corsair RM850X. I've pretty much said everything in the video, it being used for couch gaming, emulation, to the very parts itself. Since this is a new build to me, enjoy the clips I collapsed together with the idea that hopefully I can create dialogue for the rest of the video. You guys end up enjoying that little montage? I did. I'm literally editing it. Anyhow, so I started stress testing it with Prime95 for 16 minutes. So far, the temps hit a high of 71, which, in my opinion, is pretty good. I also forgot to mention the tower that I used, which is a Thermaltake Tower 100 for ITX cases, as you can tell. I guess I'm going to show you some compilations of what I figured out while I was emulating, which, by the way, I can say for a fact, it can run every single console and emulation even a nintendo switch which i am so thanked to god for that anyways enough talking let's start showing and thank you for enjoying today's video